Hi everyone, Tammy here from Woofoo Studio and it's time for another Marguerite Miller Weekly Challenge and we are on week 13. For those of you that aren't familiar, Marguerite Miller has a weekly assignment, a challenge. This is a uh, volume two and it is a collage challenge and basically what she has is a list of items for every week she has uh, five required and one bonus, and you can choose to um, do the five. Uh, and if there's one of those that you don't want to do or you can't find or don't don't have, then you can substitute the bonus, or you can do all six. I normally try to do all six, and um, you can get these prompts on her Etsy, in her Etsy store. Um, and she is Mellow Miller on Etsy. And you can purchase them. Um, she actually has the physical planner that you can purchase. She has a downloadable planner that you can print and put together yourself. And then she has just the prompts, which is what I have here. And I am putting mine in just a sketch diary just spiral bound sketch diary and it is nine and a half by six. I think this is a good good size to work on with her um, prompts and as you can see there is one for every week um, you know starting at the beginning of the year. So we are on week 13. And um, I'll flip through these as we get along further in the year. I, I won't flip through them all because they're, obviously, that would be a lot. Um, this was last week's. And so we're on 13. And I think, based on what I have, um, we may go this way this time. We'll start laying some stuff out and see what happens. So, I hope everybody is having a good week. It's almost over. It's Thursday already, and um, the weekend will be here before you know it. Sorry, I had to take a swallow of my drink there. Felt a tickle coming on. So, week 13. Let's flip over here. All right. So, we have a poem which I have this part of this little poem that says, build yourself a strong box. So I'm going to use that. And then we have a bird and my bird's a little quirky. My bird is in a jar and this, um, is from, uh, I did a journal with this on the cover in a bigger size, but this is an actual person um, and I'm sorry, I can't remember their name. Um, but they collected, like, different animals and um, parts of animals and stuff and um, stored them in these jars to study them. And so this is a print from his actual, uh, like, sketch diary that he kept with uh, talking about all his little specimens. And so I'm gonna use that for the bird. And I also have a couple other birds that I might include as well. We'll see once we start getting into it. Um, then we have a measurement. And for a measurement, I have uh, this book page that I think I'm gonna put some of these things in the background. This is out of a um, engineering drafting book. Um, and so it has measurements there, but I also have this butterfly stamp that has a measurement. And so I kind of want to use it in the background somewhere because I think it fits well with, with the kind of theme that I'm going for. Um, the next thing we have is stitching real drawn or stamped. And I have taken somewhere, I'm kind of disorganized today. I'm late getting started. 
Um, I have taken this old piece of quilt, which has stitching on it, and that is what I put my number 13 on. And so we're going to use this as our stitching, as well as our number for the week. And we have um, repeated rubber stamping. And for that, I have several stamps. Uh, this is actually a stamp of some stitching that we may put. And then I've got my favorite little splatter stamp and my little crackly stamp. So we have those that we can use as well. And then I'm also going to use this big butterfly stamp to put in the background. Um, kind of to go with the dragonfly and the birds and the kind of um, theme that we're going for. And then the bonus is a portion of a used envelope. And I have this envelope... Um, that is just, you know, the top corner because I wanted the Canadian stamps that were on it. And so I'm going to use that as my part of the envelope. So, other than that, I have no idea how this is going to come together. So we're going to see what happens. Okay, um, I've also got some um, dictionary page, and on this dictionary page somewhere is the word taxidermy. So I thought that would be kind of cool to include. So I'm going to tear this off a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to start building this background and we'll see what happens. Get some of this other stuff out of my way. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit st late start. My daughter would kill me for telling you this, but... I was on the phone with her because she was at my grandson's ball game and um, got lost in the bathroom because I guess the city is starting to install the magnetic door closers and um, she took my other grandson, my youngest grandson, to the bathroom and the magnetic closer freaked out and locked them in the bathroom and they had to call the fire department to get them out. So, she was in the bathroom for probably about 40 minutes total with a four-year-old who was totally freaking. So... It's not funny, but it's funny. It's one of those instances. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a little bit late getting started here. But we're going to see if we can't catch up here real quick. Now, I don't, I think I'm going to use this upper portion of this. Um, and I'm going to keep it fairly light because I'm going to be stamping my stamps on it. So I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be, um, too dark. I'm going to go around the edges, I think. with some ink. Okay, let's get this one inked up. It's really windy here today. We have some really bad when last night we had several people without power this morning and not a lot of rain or anything. I mean, we did have some rain, but the main thing is the wind. Okay, so I'm going to put 
this. Maybe like that. And let's see. I want to put my birds on here and make sure it just barely fits on there. So I'm going to cut these little flowers down at the top just a little bit so it fits a little better. I've also got this tissue paper. It's got a little birdie on it, but I don't know if we need it. I love where it says birdie darling. All right, let's put down this back part here. Let's get this down so I can do my stamping so I can figure out where everything else needs to go. Okay, now let's put our dragonfly I think I want to put him about right here should have brought a block over here but I didn't That looks kind of cool. Now let's do our butterfly. And I'm going to tear this down just a little bit more. We can go down even more if we need to. I don't want... I don't want to cover up... Well, we got a measurement there, so we might be okay. We'll see. Let's 
see how much I can take this down. Probably should have found a smaller. Smaller coin, but I really like what this one said, so. I think that's going to work. Sorry if I get quiet. I'm thinking. Alright, so if we put this here. And we put this. Here, and then I've got to put my envelope somewhere. I mean, this definition is totally not necessary at all, but I just like the idea of it. Ink this, put it down. I do have a video of a journal that I made when I used one of these in my videos, if you're interested in seeing that. Putting a couple of birds on the outside, too. Oh, and I gotta put my 13. Where's my 13? Let's figure out what we're doing with it. Thinking down here in the corner. That. 
and then maybe wish this bird was facing the other way. Nope, it's gotta have that. Oh, sometimes this gets a little bit fiddly, 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 fiddly. Maybe my problem is, is I'm trying to put it on the wrong side. I want to cover up all my butterfly though. Gotta keep trying until you get it where you want it. We may lose the butterfly, but that's okay too. Nope, 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 nope. It's the poem. The poem isn't working for me. Are you saying put it somewhere already? I'm trying. I just feel like it's too big. That's the problem. Okay. I have another one. What did 
I do with it? It is somewhere over here in my stash, and it's Edith Holden. That might work better. Let's try this. I'm just going to tear this down with my fingers here. Sorry, I'm just trying to be real careful so I don't rip the words, get carried away and rip the words. All right, let's see. Okay, I like that better. We're just flying by the seat of our pants now. I'm not hard sticking that down because I want to fill in some of these other little spots that I got going on. I'm going to try glue stick on that for no more purpose than it is. If it was something other than just my personal collage, I wouldn't use glue stick probably, but for this, I think it'll be fine.
Okay. Now. Now we're getting somewhere. Got a string on there. All right. All right, let's put some of this book page over here. Somewhere to tie in. Might do this little strip. Oops, brittle, brittle stuff. And actually, I want a piece right there. So that worked out for the better. And that page is sticky. Now let's try again to put this piece over here and see if I can get it on there without tearing it. Maybe I'll put the glue on the page instead of on trying to put it on the back of the text. Maybe a little bit more dictionary page. What else we got on here? He's got that little duck.
can't make up my mind. Can you tell? Very indecisive today. I feel like I need something right there. But I don't want to cover up my taxidermy. doing a very good job of getting glue in my corners today. Okay, we need, what do we need? Let's do some stamping and then see if we can kind of get this more tied together here. I feel like we need something right there. Very, very bold. All right, let me get something to, I'm getting ink everywhere. I'm just being very messy today. on that. It's a fairly new stamp pad, so it's very juicy. Juicy, juicy one. Right here, folks. Maybe a flower of some kind. Or a maybe a label something with green in it for sure let's see what 
what I got. Green, green, green. I think I have green that's very little, very small. Definitely need green though. I need a, <clears throat> excuse me, a flower. Actually, don't mind purple with that because this has got kind of a purpley tint. But if I do purple there, I'm going to have to bring something purple down here. It's a never ending cycle. This is what happens. I don't know if you can see. I'm just digging through my flower box. I got these little boxes at the Dollar Tree. And they're actually quite, I think they're like school, school boxes, pencil boxes or something like that. But they're quite handy to keep these little things in. more blue. Where's purple when you need it? Nope. 
don't like that. Blue, 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 blue. Everything but purple. Are you kidding me? Obviously, I need to cut some purple flowers. Okay, I can't. I gotta have another purple. That's exactly what it needs. Oh, I know. Hold what you got for just a second. All right, I just got these and happy now. That one's definitely not going to work. This one. I like this one if I can. Let's do let's do some surgery here real quick. Oh, there's a little bitty like rose. And I got the big rose. That's not the right kind of flower though. Continue on with the surgery.
honestly don't even think I need the stem. Sorry guys, I'm keep I feel like I'm keeping you forever. I don't have a clock I can see, so I'm not sure how long I've been going on, but I feel like it's been too long. And then I'm going to put this little thing down here to kind of cap that off. Okay, and then I'm going to take this little piece. finish cutting it out somewhat And put it down here in this corner because I don't want it to cover up my coin. But I need there to be just a little bit of purple. down in this corner. All right, I think we did it. It was a struggle. All right, and I've made a mess. Let's make sure we have everything. So we have a point, a bird, a measurement, we have measurements here and here and our whole background here. So why do we have that covered? Stitching. We've got stitching on our little pieces of quilt. Plus we have a stitching in our stamp. Repeated rubber stamping. We have that in our stamp and our crackles and our little splotches. So we have that several times. And a portion of a used envelope. So we got we got it all. It was it wasn't easy, but we made it. So that's it. Week 13. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I felt like it was a bit chaotic, but we got there in the end. And uh I think I'm happy with it. It's not my fave, but yeah, I kind of like it. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, so the next video will be over the weekend and it will be, um, I'm not sure. Oh, one thing it will be is I have reached 500 subbies over a little bit actually. And so I will be announcing a giveaway, um, in my weekend video, so I hope you all will watch that, and, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I will announce it on Saturday, and, uh, give you all the details about how you can enter for the freebie, and I appreciate all of you, uh, subscribing, I really do, and I never thought, um, when I started this that I would have you know, five subscribers, nevertheless, 500. And, um, I want to thank my friend and coworker Sparky for inspiring me to do this. She kept telling me that I needed to do YouTube and I kept resisting and, um, I didn't want to do it. And I'm so glad I did because I really enjoy sharing, um, my projects with you and I enjoy reading your comments so much and um so a special thank you to her for getting me started so until this weekend uh everybody stay safe and stay healthy and i hope you have a great rest of the week and i'll see you this weekend bye